Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. This is Faizan Akhbar and I'm here with the topic Ramadan, al-suhoor wa al-iftar, the pre-dawn and fast-breaking meals. Let's begin. Fasting trains us to submit to Allah in full obedience. At Allah's directive, a person refrains from eating and drinking until a certain time. He also eats the suhoor meal at a particular time, even if he does not wish to eat. Abu Darda anhu, narrated that the three things are from the traits of prophethood. To hasten an iftar, delay the suhoor meal, and to put the right hand on top of the left hand in Salah. Narrated in Sahih Jami, Volume 2. The Suhoor Meal For a believer, there are blessings in Suhoor. And it is also the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Take the Suhoor Meal, for there is in it much blessing. Narrated in Sahih Bukhari, 1923. The Prophet ﷺ called Arbaz bin Sarya anhu, to join him in eating suhoor with the words, Arbaz, come to the blessed food. Narrated in Sunan Abu Dawud 2344. Suhoor is a blessing from Allah. Abdullah bin Harith narrated from a person amongst the companions of the Prophet ﷺ that he once went to see the Prophet ﷺ while he was eating suhoor. He ﷺ said, This suhoor is a blessing that Allah has given you, so do not leave it. Narrated in Masnad Ahmad, Volume 38. Mirdam Bil Madi Kurb anhu, reported that the Prophet ﷺ said, You all should make the morning meal, suhoor meal, compulsory upon yourselves as it is the blessed food of morning. Narrated in Al Nasai 2166. One must have suhoor even if it is a sip of water. The Prophet Muhammad said, There is barakah in eating suhoor, so do not leave it, even if it is a sip of water. Narrated in Masnad Ahmad. Mercy descends upon those who eat suhoor. It is related by Ibn Umar anhu, that the Prophet said, Verily, Allah and His angels send mercy upon those who eat suhoor. This means that Allah showers upon them His mercy and blessings while the angels pray for mercy and forgiveness for them. Dates are the best suhoor. The Prophet said, How excellent are dates as the believer's suhoor. Eat a balanced and healthy meal at Suhoor in order to stay active and fresh throughout the day and be able to perform all obligatory rituals and other acts of worship properly. There are two joys for the fasting person. The Prophet ﷺ said, The fasting person has two occasions for joy. One when he breaks his fast because of breaking it and the other when he meets his Lord because of the reward for his fast. Narrated in Sahih al-Bukhari, 1904. It is misnoon to break the fast early. We should have the fast-breaking meal iftar as soon as the sun sets. The Prophet Muhammad said, the people will continue to do well so long as they hasten to break the fast. Narrated in Sahih al-Bukhari, 1957. The fast should be broken with dates or plain water. The Prophet ﷺ said, If any one of you is fasting, let him break his fast with dates. In case he does not have them, then with water. Verily, water is the purifier. The Prophet ﷺ would break his fast with fresh dates before praying. If there were no fresh dates, he would eat dried dates. If there were no dried dates, he would drink a few sips of water. Narrated in Abu Dawood 2356. Reward for giving food to a fasting person to break his fast. The Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu said, He who gives food to the fasting person to break his fast will receive the same reward as him 
except that nothing will be reduced from the fasting person's reward. Here are a list of things to do. 1. Practice moderation when preparing the meals for suhoor and iftar since this is the month of fasting, not feasting. 2. Avoid eating greasy foods and eating to your fill so that you do not feel lethargic. 3. Give leftover food to the needy instead of throwing it away. Invocation for Iftar While breaking the fast, the Prophet ﷺ used to say these words. Zahab al-zama wa abtallat al-uruq wa thabat al-ajru insha'Allah the thirst is gone and the veins are quenched and the reward is confirmed if Allah wills. Narrated in Sunan Abu Dawood 2357 Wa akhiru dawana alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu